Welcome once again to another episode of Take One with me, Silver Filter, and today we're gonna talk about how to make your swoosh effect or uh, something like the a wind effect. And we use this normally for build ups and just to create uh, some tension and just build just build your track up and towards in the next part of your your sequence or your the part of your track so uh, i'll let you listen to a sample now and uh, i you'll hear it in the middle i'll start with a basic drum loop then it will come in then i'll bring in a, a bass line after after the wind just so you so you have an idea how it how it feels you know the transition so here it goes that's that's how it sounds and usually you just you can just build up on it and when after the wind comes in you can just have one big blast of a uh, cymbal or another type of a uh, swoosh effect that can replace your cymbal and just for this I just didn't put anything at, at all anyway so let's create our swoosh effect So we have here a uh, synthesizer, so you can use any synthesizer, uh, that any soft synth that you have that has a noise oscillator. And we have here a subtractor from Bellhead Reason uh, running inside record. So right now you're going to hear it's just a basic synth patch. Alright. See it's just uh, playing playing a basic waveform and we're gonna choose uh, the noise oscillator as as a uh, as our oscillator so here we can I'm just gonna select see now now you can hear it already so there's so there's already that wind sound running and uh, we can just uh, adjust the color for the purpose of the tutorial and we're just gonna do it uh, I'm just gonna use a uh, really lighter color not too heavy on the bait on the lows now for the amp envelope uh, I want I wanted we wanted to creep in a bit so we'll just adjust the attack So now we can feel that it's slowly coming in, and but we we can hear the filter, the sound. So it's so we want to reverse that into something going up. So we're just gonna re, yeah we're gonna invert the filter envelope. So now we can hear it going up. There. So now we have our. Our basic wind sound, or basic swoosh. Now, uh, or my swoosh in the sample is this one. So I'm gonna mute this for now. Then we're gonna record it. We're gonna record our new subtractor or our new wind sound here. So I'll just demo it. So record. There. 
So now we, uh, we have the node recorded here, as you can see there. However, you didn't, there wasn't any noticeable build, and that's where our automation comes in. So we're going to go back to the, to the, to the synth, and we're going to automate the filter parameter. So we, so we want this to build a bit. I'm going to just increase the resonance just to brighten it up a bit. You know. There. And then we can just maybe low, start with the low frequency, low filter frequency. And alt and click on the, the fader and then on the slider, I mean. And we have our automation lane. And I'll just draw an automation lane. So now we can just draw it that it's gonna it's building up. So now we have so uh, in playback we're gonna hear a certain uh the buildup already uh, noticeable in this. there uh, well maybe we can just uh, lower the level because it's kind of piercing already to the ears so maybe just minus three or minus four just for the sake of the tutorial and then uh, we want it when the next phrase comes in we want it to still be playing but uh, it's fading out and how, however when we play that back it it just Immediately, when when the seventeenth bar came in, the sound just cut instantly. So what we're gonna do is just add a little of uh, a little delay here. So we're just gonna put some delay, just just to add a little flavor to it, and just to lengthen the feedback so that it'll be uh, the repeats will be longer. All right, then the wet balance. Not too much, just enough so that we can still hear the builds. So here it is. So. or your wood sound or <clears throat> or build up and you know just experiment you can just adjust uh, EQ a bit and uh, add uh, add a different delay or you can grind make it grainy or there's so many things you can do to that particular sound that can add to your build up and you know you can create it in such a way that it's it's your own so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial now and for for this week and st stay tuned next week for the episode next week i'm gonna teach about tuning your percussions so yeah I'm, I'm, i've been looking forward to doing that tutorial and i hope you subscribe to the channel and you know visit once in a while and see what what new videos are up so there, and thank you for watching, and I hope you, you liked uh, the lesson for you this week. Thank you, and God bless.